sure I'm good to go. The baby monitor set up. Okay. Let's play. level no yes my name is Willie Nelson in the game right there. Hmm. Who's attacking it here? Do you seek to make a purchase? We are creatures. The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. Perhaps you have encountered Madra or Akari. The white flames that sometimes fall from the sky. Will this one need offer. something? Warm sands, friend. How may this one serve you? What the hell was that? They didn't. I didn't see any selection window or anything. That was weird. It's my first different species to encounter though, other than people. I am definitely a Skyrim noob. I've been here before. That's close enough. Oh, crap. I've been here before. Tell you what, you start running so I can stab you <laughs> right back. Why can't I 
I guess I can't load up my... Yeah, why can't I load this stuff up? There it is. I don't know why I couldn't find that earlier. Okay.
staying safe, I hope. I ain't done yet. Say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Walk among the stars! But you were once man. I am as man as man. Gagan. See? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a... Ah! The Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Yes. You should come too. Yes. A dragon. How exciting. Yes, Where was it seen? Why I'm playing what this was game. Doing? I want to see more of them. I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, Not now. Name. Tell him what you told me, about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've all... Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to Whoa. stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution.
I serve Jarl Balgrum as steward. Gods in Dragon Street say you aided the Yard. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. Now we're in for it.
God might get nervous, thinking of settling in. There's a house for sale. Please home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. where the magic menu is.
very interesting. Glad you're on our side. meant to jump.
Good stuff, Tant. It's a uh, tough standing the whole time I'm standing right now because I have two move controllers. And, uh, this game looks in the vibe and rift now. Guys on the rift. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back to the There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. We are but maggots. Ride! You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right. I said coward. Oh, yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordant. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord May. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. But you were once mad. I am as mad as any. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about So you. what happened at My the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? 
That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Ranga, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world, I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. With good planning and constant vigilance, even now my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Valgrup and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife, so you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. 
Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet, anyway. I've got my eyes on you. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you, and all you own, with my life. Lead the way. You did it! You killed the dragon. Did you raise your prices, Carlotta? I had to. The farmers are charging me double. Don't take this the wrong way. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble with the storm cloaks? Exactly. What's the matter? You Road can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Soldiers. I miss the, the days when the Grey Manes and Battleborns got along. They've been raiding Ever the since the war started, supplies are there's nothing a man can do that I can't do better. Whether it's arm drinks or slain trolls. <laughs> Maybe. Well, they wouldn't taste as good as a loaf of fresh baked hmm. pumpernickel. Well, that's about it for me. Well, actually, I'm gonna go out the gate. Some I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. There's been talk amongst the gods. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We'll pay good money for information. Surely that's not possible. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. You have news of our quarry. news of our quarry. Need a ride? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. See ya.
Okay. So I'm here. This looks really cool. I do this. Oh. Yeah, I do have to kind of walk up. Dun 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 all right, I gotta get going. Yeah, it's been a pleasure.